Alright, it's all good now. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Dungeon of the Endless. Even the title is so pretty! Ah! All the pixels. So pretty. And I would like to say new game. The continue only works if it's uh... If you save and quit. And once you die, you cannot uh, redo the progress. So, from the last game, we have unlocked our new character. His name is... Stroig! Hello, Stroig. I am Stroig. So, what does this mean? Number of hero death. Number of victories with this hero. Number of hero selections. Ah, okay. So, obviously, he's fighting. Damage per second is maximum. He is the damage dealer. And I don't know why we don't even get to see the blue dude. Even though we fought with blue dude. With uh, the last run. Hold on a second. This thing is kind of annoying. There you go. It's all good. Hello. Hello everybody. Um, who is this? Elise. Oh, uh, we met her. I think that guy was on the robot. Um, she's a fixer. Anyways, we should start. And we're gonna have... Our medic. I believe she is the medic. Hello? Yeah, nurse. There you go. Easy. Easy difficulty. Uh, win a game with the escape pod. Spend 1,000 food. I wish I could, um... Unlock some new ships. But I guess I have to play the game more and more. Hello! Wow. So bright. And the dungeon loads. So those of you who... Maybe I should wait until... Until uh, everybody comes. So that I don't have to explain this to everybody. I wonder if I can... Ah, it's okay. It's all good. Let's just continue on. Wait until... Um, all of the raiders comes in. And I'll be able to explain it at the same time. Six gone has a bit Ah, yes, gone! Gone, gone, gone. I really like this guy. He is so strong. I love it. Ah! Did not mean to do that. I couldn't say, like, come back. Alright, so first thing first. Industry. Do yo yo yo! So this is the science thing that we can study if we like. I don't know if we can do... Hello! Orbis! Hello! Oh, hey! Now Northern Lion's hosting me. Thank you, Ryan, for hosting me. Hello, everybody. Hello! I would like to mention that hello. <laughs> um, so I am playing the Dungeon of Endless. It is indeed a very fun game. I would like to, I guess, kind of go over... How to play this game. So the Dungeon of the Endless is a game. It's a roguelike game. And you just need to survive through the levels of 12 levels. And we are in the first one we just started. And this is the power core that you need to move through to the exit. And when it does, the whole waves of enemy comes in. And uh, they will try to kill you. Every time when you open the door, you expand, you expand the um, danger of core being attacked. So as you can see, that's the locked door and we can expand and we need to explore so that we'll get more industry part or science or food. Use food to level up, use science to level up our modules to get more modules per room. And use industry parts to build stuff. So little, in this little knob things, you can build those little pew pew pews. And that really helps them, helps the enemy to get away from our modules being a being destroyed and every modules that we build um every door we open we gain more items more of these guys up here so we can build more and as we build more um we get more resources and we need our resources to survive and we basically need to survive as much as we can until we go to the exit and finish the game and there's this power thing it's uh, called dust we need to power the room once we power the room we can if the room has this kind of little thing in the ground, it means that we can build module, for example. Uh, no, we cannot build it because we are three low. Um, but for example, we can build like the industry module like this. Or um, when we power the room like this, 
no monsters will come in and try to destroy us. So if I turn this off and then go to another room, that can this room can spawn a monster in here and try to kill this power module, a uh, power source, and have the game over, which is bad, very bad. And my strategy is actually by opening one street ways and try to minimize the expose of uh, danger having this power core getting attacked by the random enemies. So for example, and then when you open the doors, you get a resources like you saw. And we hate their monsters spawning, so we have to kill them. As long as we like the rooms, there will be no monsters spawning. That's the most important thing. And we have 30 modules right away. Let's build a food module so we can level up. I would like to level up our medic lady. And when she can level up, her number of the level will highlight like this guy. Like green right now. This guy is very strong. Um, not much of HP, but sp speed is quite fast and he is strong. And our medic lady can now level up and use the active, active skill called paramedic, which can heal you duration of... What was it? 3 seconds, I think? For at the moment... Uh, 10 seconds. Nice. Alright, and then we can go shift click on that, and then we can go open the doors and explore more. So we have 20 science, I think we're gonna wait on that since we know there will be more than one room here. Try to explore as much as we can and do the investigation with this guy here, which really helps. Hey, we found a uh, extra parts. Lucky. And since we do not have anything that kind of like lit up background, does, we don't have enough power to light this room. So when we continue on moving on with the exploring, there's a chance of enemies spawning here and a chance of this module getting attacked and get destroyed. So I think the smartest thing at the moment is to do by building some defensive prod here and here. So when the mon enemy spawns, um, we'll do, they will do enough damage, even if we get, uh, if we get lucky, these guys might be able to kill them. So, and also exploring, not only we get resources, we need to find the exit to carry our power core, this power core to the exit to move to the next floor, and, uh, that is the reason why we are exploring also. Not only we, we get the resources as we open the door. So now we got enough- Ah! Oh, see, the monsters spawn. So some monsters will come at us. Some monsters will try to get to our module link. And then our pew 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 did at the everything. So we are all good. Mistress Force energies this room. So that's very lucky for us. As you know, uh, pew pew pews. We call this dude pew pew pews. Pew pew pew! This is very lucky. Uh, we can go left or right. I'll go left. Open! That looked like a pigeon for a second. Hello, pigeon. So the reason why the monster spawned here, even though we explored it already, is because we did not power this room. So it's dark and creepy, and that's how the monster spawns, apparently, in this game. We have 27. The next module is set 30. So... new. I would like to build like, a science module if it's possible. Now we have money. So this is the exit. Um, we need to get the power core and get the heck out of here, but we don't have to do that right away. See, we, you can see red means closed rooms. And more explore we do, it's better for us because e more exploring equals more resources, so we have a better chance of surviving in the next level. And first level, you, as you can see, is the easiest out of all. So we would like to make the best of it. So let's see, what can we do... I don't think we can do land module. Although it would be awesome because it's um, adds 120% defense to all major modules, which is awesome. Oh, this guy! Oh, trust me, this is so good. It applies minus 30% speed to monsters, so it really slows it down. So the heroes can catch up to them and beat the poop out of them. And uh, not only do we use the food force to level up the people, we have to use it to heal them when they get attacked by the monsters. But leveling up is very important, so let us level up. And these are the special skills. For this guy, 
His special skill is Last Supper. Her special skill is Paramedic. I'll say it's a Paramedic, maybe First Aid would be a better name for it, I guess. So as you can see, our exit is not lit because we do not have extra power. Think of this power of like the FTL, our engine power. And uh, as we go on, we might find more dust, which actually gets us this mirror on the on the ground, this line meter, <laughs> meter on the ground in the, this line. And when it reaches to the end point, it really uh, that's when the room is ready to be lit up. So let us go on this side, and I think when we open this room, enemies will spawn here. So I would like to build some defense system. Not too much because at the moment this is first floor so it shouldn't be that much. It wouldn't take that much to kill them. It's kind of easy. And sometimes crystals kind of run away. Try to get to the module and attack module instead of the heroes. That's why we need those pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Since we know there are two, at least two rooms, I think uh, I would like to build science Cree. The science. Miss Bill Gates, the science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Science is interesting. <laughs> science is interesting. No shit. So there is. Uh, see, you can see those two crystals. They kind of escaped from our hand. And they're traveling to destroy modules or even the power core. So we have to catch up to them and then try to destroy it. I don't think there's a room for it. This is a dead end, right? Yeah. So that's a dead end. Um, and there was a... When we open up this room, since now there are more rooms that has no power. One, two, three, four. Enemies will come from this side and this side. So more encounters. That is why... We open less door, or opening door in, with like um, with the strategy is very important in this game. And as you can see, the music is awesome. That was the last door, and when you open the last door, if you were doing investigation, it will automatically finish, if, even though you didn't uh, open all the necessary doors that it required. As you can see, there is monster attacking. Oh, the module is destroyed. It's okay. That was the last room anyway. So we try to get kill all the monsters and we have to keep an eye on their HP bar. I mean it sucks that they destroyed the science module but that was the last room so there is not really a point of defending it because we won't get uh, module plus um, when we open up a room because there's no more room to open. I think you kind of understand where this game is going. Yes, no, yes, no. So I think Bill Gates, the science guy. So now we know we have explored every every uh, rooms in this floor. Now we all we need to do is to pick up this power core, run as fast as we can, and try not to die, and try to survive to the exit. For my experience, it is the best to light the way to the exit. So that the enemies won't spawn in the exit room and try to kill you. And this is very bad luck for us on the first floor because we don't have... We cannot light just one room. It has to be in a sequence. So if I want to light this room, this room also needs to be lit up. And I could light this one up. That's a good uh, start. I mean, what happens is that when you carry the energy crystal, your, po or your speed is really, really slow. So when the monster spawns here, there will be enemies trying to kill us. And enemies might spawn here and try to kill us. And en enemies will definitely spawn here and try to kill us. So I think we need to kind of get lucky in order to do so. Well, let's see. Let's see. This. Let's wish for the best. So, I think I would say this guy, he's quite fast. Lift this up, pause the game for a second, like the FTL, and just run as fast as you can and try to manage their health by, you know, giving the food to them. As you can see, she's not holding the crystal, so she's fast, and they're trying to destroy this module for some reason. 
Kind of, that's dumb of them. She can do, like, heal. And then that might help them. She's there. Oh, go, you can do it. It shouldn't be that hard, it's level 1. And you would be like, hey, why don't you just... if After you find the exit, why do you open the room? If you don't open the room, that would just close the enemy down, right? No, no, no. When you take down the crystal... When you take the en energy crystal out, it opens all the doors and it doesn't matter if you open the doors or not. It will automatically open and all the enemies will rush in to try to kill you. So this is the elevator scene. <laughs> Our hero Craig says that wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad actually. It was quite okay. I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. Aww. We hope so. And when the enemy, or I mean when the hero dies, um, they die permanently. You cannot bring them up. There is no resurrection. I wish there is. So let's go on. 69 kills. Yes, perfect number. Okay. Let us... We can... We can level this guy up, actually. Let's level this guy up. Level 3. And this is quite bad. When the energy core has three doors, it means if you open all three doors this way and only can light two room, that means there will be a more like it will be more exposed to enemies coming. So for my experience, it's better to open one straight up. So if you decide to go up, go up, only the up, and then when you're ready, you can open open the other side of the doors or if you decide to go on right just go always go right until you're ready I'm gonna go up I like to go up big room I like big rooms because you get a lot of dust you can light this room and because we carry our um, sources our food our uh, industry parts our science from the last level um, it is good to save at least 20 parts in the previous level so we can build a module right away. For this instance, as you can see, there, there are kind of uh, too many options. Just stick to one way. Stick to the one way. Oh, it's dead end. Alright, it's quite uh, not good for us. Although it's powered by Mystery Force or Mystery Source, so that's very lucky for us. Uh, we don't have to light it, that means we don't- we very sickly got a free energy! Yes, We'll stay with right then. Since that's a dead end. And, uh, higher you go, there are more rooms in a- per level. So, in level 2, I think there will be like less than 20 rooms. So, kinda expect that and use the module, build a module according to it. Instead of go like, hey, I have all the industry parts, build every module, and when you go to the next floor, you won't have any industry parts to build a module in the very first room that you discover, which is quite bad for you. So let's get the food. Pyong, 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 pyong. Oh, it's a dead end again. Don't really like dead end. Especially if we don't have power to power it. So the problem of having dead end not lit is by or having a power lit and have a module so close by it i should have really built a module here that monster will spawn here randomly and try to kill this module asap which is really bad so i'm gonna build a pew, pew, pew. just one of them there it should keep us safe hopefully when that uh i think we'll be able to get a power okay See? And the module already shows up. Oh, they don't want the module. They want to get to the power core. Okay. Yo! Alright. So we have powered this room. No monster will spawn here. So that's lucky for us. What's unlucky for us is that we have this big room that's unlit. So that's bad. But hopefully as we go on, we can lit this room. And it's very important to uh, light a room. That is uh, most close to the power core because when it's not, it is more exposed to the enemies and the, we don't have that much of time to get to it when we are super far away. Hey, this one is already already lit. It's the mystery power force again. Yes, 
Mystery power force. So many places to explore. So it is better to expand um, always further away from the power core than close to the power core so that you give more rooms for the enemies to travel and you can build like a tower defense kind of pew pew pews to kill them. So let's go here. Left. That's a dead end. Aha. So what this thing is, is the science. It's called science research. And we get to research our, like basically leveling up our the defense system. So all these threes are what we can plant on this little knobs to defend our module. For this guy is to level up. So right now we have module that is science creator level one. And when we spend 46 science and give and open how many doors I think like uh, research in time is three doors open three doors after it will, the research will be done and our science creator will be level two. So having it will be four more science per rooms open. So I would, it would, it's a better idea to get the module leveled up right away instead of getting a defense system because at the very first monsters are not that uh, strong to have them. And also um, defense system pew pew pews are quite cheap as you can see 25, 29, 17 where the modules they're quite expensive 46. So we have to wait 46 so we need a couple not couple but we need a lot more science so it'll be better idea if we build science creator right now not there because it's uh there's a dark room right next next to it so we'll build in a very safe spot where every room is lit so we have a, every module here food uh, industry science we could build here but this room is not lit we don't have power source to uh, light it up that is why this place will be dangerous so we're gonna build some defense system if it's possible. We don't have we don't have enough industry parts for it. Anyways, let's level up our character. It's always good to level up them so that they have more HP and more attack power to kill the monsters. So let's expand as far away as from our uh, power core here. So this guy gives you science, I think. There you go. Oh, monsters already appeared in the dark room. And then we just kill them. Too bad I cannot light the like lit the room. So bad. Hoo <laughs> hoo. We have 49. We can do the research. But the problem is the room is not lit. So it's in the danger. Like a monster can spawn here and kill this dude. Kill this sculpture and make us lose 46 science points. Not good. Give us a energy. Give us dust. Alright. Do we have... Uh-oh. Oh, monsters actually came... Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, uh, let's fight here with our pew pew pew. Okay, now I can light this room. We had... we That little circle thing that looks like a Mega Man power thing is a dust. And that's what uh, more number increases. It gives us a chance to light a room. So as you can see, now we can do the research. Let's do the research of the module level up. Boop! And this room is safe, because it's uh, the light is up. This too is not, but if you're expanding on this side, it is. we have a better chance of catching up to them. Let's see, maybe we'll build more pew pew pews. Because enemy is... they're dig sometimes. I don't know if we need this guy because enemies in level two is quite easy actually okay that's the exit that's good we know where to go and then i guess we'll just i'm pretty sure this is gonna be a dead end oh no it's not another science all right we should oh enemies coming we should defend it here i would like to defend it there actually but Kill them all! Oh, don't die! Do not die! Okay, and after they kill the wave of enemy, they heal back up to the mechs right away. So let's light the room. There you go. Too bad the monster will still spawn here. 
That's alright. We can do more pew pew pews. Maybe we should do pew pew pews here. Kind of like here. I think it'll be good. I think that's enough for level 2. Whoa! Huge dead end! Huge- oh no! It's just a huge room. So a huge room gives you more dust. Oh dude, don't die man. Don't die! Okay. So that- we got a huge room. Oh, lucky that the monster didn't spawn here. So we're just gonna try to spawn... Um, not spawn. We're try to gonna give energy to a room. That we are not the opposite way that we are going, so that because we are going in this way, when and the enemies appear here, we can quickly get up to them and kill them before they get to the energy core where enemies spawn here. It will take us longer to catch up to them, and they might actually have a chance of attacking the power core, which is very bad. Let's do it. Let's continue on. Good thing we still have some defense system here. Okay, so that's a higher. Ellie that you can hire with the food. His name is Nanner. Um, every one of these monsters is going to get spat... Spat choked... Choked... Spat choked... Choked? Spat choked? Uh, brined and barbecued. So we can have up to four L allies. So, oh, this guy... <laughs> what the heck? He looks so scary. Oh my god, he's like a butcher. The youngest prodigy from a proud family of practically famous chefs, Nan Nor, ended up disgraced when he unwittingly purchased black andromedan truffles that turned out to be the palate of the Valen rabbit drug. Oh, dong, the no, rabbit dong. <laughs> Fighting to rebuild his reputation, he is a ruthless and uncompromising opponent who can turn anyone and anything into lunch meat. Oh, yay! So I think he has a lot of HP compared to everyone else. Yes, so he is a tanker instead of attacker or DPS or damage dealer. So he's level 3. That's alright. So you'll be thinking, Kate, you have so much uh, industry part, why don't you build a module? Well, the reason why is because if we do, that's 30 that's going out of- 35 that's going out of us, and if that's the last room, we will- we might not have enough to build a module for the next floor. So you always have to think ahead and do not waste too much in a floor. For me, I think uh, in level 2 or floor 2, build 1 each is quite okay. We can be greedy and go for extra food replicator. So that we, since we have more heroes, we can heal them, we can level them up more. But we don't know if this room is gonna be the... Oh, there are actually two rooms. You know what, let's do that. What da 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 Find the safest spot. Safest spot will be... Hmm... This? But then there's like dark room right next to it. I would say here, I think that will be the safest spot. Because the, all the um, rooms that's next to it is all have a power, so it's all good. So let us open the room, continue on with the adventure. Alright, so there might be an- yep, there you go. Oh, enemies everywhere. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 he's attacking the power core. Go, hurry. Okay, so the tank guy- oh, he's gonna die. Use the first aid. Please don't die. Okay, that's good. So that's how we usually fight. And the cooldown of her medic sk uh, skill is three rooms. Good thing. Um, and the, when the enemy uh, attacks the energy core, uh, you know, as we open this room, we got a... Enough dust to uh, power up another room. Unfortunately, enemy get to the power core and attacked a little bit, so we lost the dust for it. So we cannot do that anymore. And this is the mystic or mystery power that lit up the room. So this room is quite scary. So let's build this guy here. That slow stuns the enemy, and maybe one of Pew 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 will really help us out here. We finished the 
research. That's why it's level 2. And I think... Let's see. I, this might be the last room that we can only open. Which is a great news because we don't have to wait until... Uh, three turns or opening three doors to finish the research. This guy's level 2 of the slowing down, so applies minus 36% of speed of monsters. That's actually quite good. This one does adds 10.5 health regen to heroes in the same room. Ah, oh, that's really good. Health regen plus 50 in rooms without monsters. What's this? It's the attack pew pew pew. Tactical en enhancement series lancer ator does medium damage to enemies in the room. Okay. Is this worth buying at the full price, lovely Momo? There are two uh, prices of this game. One is just like the digital uh, pixel copy, I think they call it. Like a pixel copy of the version. I bought that instead of the uh, more expensive one. Because the more expensive one just gives you extra spaceship and extra character unlock. I just built the one that's a standard copy, which is I think like a $12, $13 in Canadian. And the answer to that question is yes, I really, 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 really like this game. And the, it's so pretty, as you can see. It's super pretty. Music is awesome. Music is like as good as FTL, I have to say. For this guy, I don't know. I don't know which one I want to study. <laughs> I really like the s slowing down thing. Uh, but we already have it. Let's go with this Tesla module. And then we'll, we'll open this one. It might be the last room. Who knows? We'll see. Oh no, there are more rooms. Alright, kill the enemies. There might be random encounters appearing. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's not... Let's not die here. Go here. Oh, kill them before they get to the module or power core. Oh, so many. Oh no! And some monsters they split up and tr and they destroy the module instead. Even though this was a quite good location, they made it there and killed our food one. Burp, burp. Oh well, let's let let's light this one up. Because it's right next to the power core. So it needs to be lit up or will be too exposed. So I think you kind of understand how this game goes. I cannot believe this is not a dead end. There's seriously more rooms. Are you crazy? Are you serious? Oh, there are enemies coming. Enemies coming. Enemies coming! More pew pew pews. Oh, enemies coming this way too. Oh, you can see the enemy already here. Maybe we can do slow down module here. Hopefully. Another pew pew pew. Because we are doing the research, they can go here and then destroy this research. And lose all our science points. Let's hope for the best. Let's not have our heroes get killed. Okay, so they finished clearing everyone there. Okay, don't attack it, you fucker! No! Kill him! HP, HP. Okay, they're coming up. Alright, so... No enemies are attacking the research. Oof. That is how things get uh, more complicated. Alright, please be the last room. Be the last room, be the last room! Yes! It is the last room. Okay. There we monsters appearing everywhere. Uh-oh. Just go here and fight. Next to the core. And then since it's gonna be the last of all, use all your skills. You can do it, dude. Dude. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. It's kind of funny we can light one room up. So, now we have explored the whole floor. And finish the study and everything. It is now important to turn off all the unnecessary rooms. We don't care about 
um, modules anymore because we're just gonna take the power core and run the heck out of here. So the best way to uh, know what rooms to light up is by first of all always light up the exit as you, as, you know as much as possible and the exit route. So here, 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 here needs to be lit up and any adjacent adjacent rooms need to be powered up or it doesn't have to be but it'll be good if you do not like this room it won't be a it won't be a a i don't know it won't be so terrible but it'll be bad because the monster might spawn so close to you then they might catch up to you and try to kill you so light this one up um we have two extra energy so I'm gonna light this huge room so enemies will spawn here and it will take longer than to get to me. Same goes here. Alright, so let us run, shall we? Pick it up. Run! And when you run, all you can do is just hope for the best and just get the fuck out of here ASAP. Run the fuck out of here. Run the fuck out of here. Hello, Wen. Uh, Wenness. Welcome to the channel. So as you can see, like, they're destroying the modules and stuff. Who cares? To the exit we go. Alright. So we made to the floor 3. Floor 3 is where things get... Kinda difficult. The rooms get bigger. And more enemies spawn as you open up the rooms. More dark rooms, more enemies. 